Hello everyone. Welcome to this interesting video. I am Surendra Lamba and today in this video we will discuss trigonometry. Trigonometry is a Greek word which is made from tri, gono and metri. These three words. Where tri means three, gono means sides and metri means measurement. So trigonometry is basically the measurement of three sides of a triangle. Now triangle which we will use in trigonometry should be a right angle triangle in which one angle should be of 90 degree. Let us consider in triangle ABC, we have this angle. Angle C will be theta and angle A will be phi. And if we assume this angle theta, then adjacent side to theta will be base and other arm of it will be hypotenuse. And we know that hypotenuse is always opposite to the 90 degree and is always fixed in a right angle triangle. So this will be our base if theta is our ang angle then it will be our base and this will be our hypotenuse and the opposite side to this theta will always be perpendicular. Perpendicular. So this will be base, this will be perpendicular and the opposite side to 90 degree angle will be hypotenuse. Now we know that Pythagoras theorem is always used in a right angle triangle where P square means perpendicular square plus base square is equal to hypotenuse square. Now here comes another term trigonometric ratios. Trigonometric ratios which we can assume from the name that these, this is the ratio of the sides or the angles of a right angle triangle. First trigonometric ratio is sin theta where theta is the angle at C. So sin theta will be opposite side to the angle upon hypotenuse. Cos theta will be adjacent side upon hypotenuse and tan theta will be opposite side upon adjacent side. Now you can see that sin theta is opposite of cosecant theta because cosecant theta is equal to hypotenuse upon opposite side. Similarly cos theta is opposite of secant theta and tan theta is opposite of cos theta. So this will be the relationship between these six trigonometric ratios. Now sin theta can be written as opposite. Opposite means perpendicular and hypotenuse means h. P upon h. Similarly, cos theta will be equal to B upon h. Where adjacent side will be base and h will be hypotenuse. Tan theta will be perpendicular upon base. This will be perpendicular which is opposite to theta and this will be base which is adjacent side. Now, cosecant theta will equal to opposite of sin theta which means hypotenuse upon perpendicular secant theta will be equal to hypotenuse upon base and cos theta will be equal to base upon perpendicular. Now question comes how to remember these relationships. There is simple trick P B P H H B. We can use this to remember all these trigonometric ratios where P upon H is sin theta, B upon H is cos theta and P upon B equal to tan theta and opposite of these will be cosecant, secant and cos theta. So we can remember using this. Now let us take an example of a triangle in which one side is 3, another side is 4. So what will be hypotenuse? Hypotenuse will be 5 which will be using Pythagoras theorem. 3 square plus 4 square equal to h square hypotenuse which means 9 plus 16 is equal to hypotenuse square, 25 is equal to hypotenuse square, so hypotenuse will be equal to 5, so it will be 5, 3 and 4. If we take this side at theta, then it will be perpendicular, this will be base and this will be hypotenuse. So what will be sin theta? Sin theta, sin theta is equal to P upon H, perpendicular upon hypotenuse, perpendicular 3 and hypotenuse will be 5. So P upon H 3 upon 5. Similarly cos theta B upon H means 4 upon 5 and tan theta equal to P upon B means 3 upon 4. So using this we can calculate trigonometric ratios. I hope you understand this. Thank you for watching this video.